Now that we have our word balloons and our sound effects in place, let's zoom out and take a look at the page as a whole. Now, rule number one when you're lettering a comic book is tell the story. Your lettering is communicating the dialogue and the sounds and emotions and volume. It's also visually leading the reader from panel to panel through the page. Now, I've actually created a few problem areas on this page that could accidentally lead the reader to the wrong place. Can you spot them? Let's zoom in here and take a look at the first few panels. So I start here, reading along, I get to Demon Mutt and Ratmere. Now where do I go next? Do I go here into panel four? Then I've missed panel three. So let's move this sound effect down so it's not overlapping the panel. Maybe even shrink it a little bit if we need to, just to make sure it's off the figure. Continuing along, now we're properly going into panel three, panel four, continuing along, and now we get here. Now this balloon does overlap the next panel properly, but on the other hand, it could lead us into the last panel. So we're not necessarily misdirecting the reader, but we could be confusing them and causing them to stop reading the story. And what's rule number one, kids? That's, that's right. So, how do we fix it? Now one solution would be to mask it inside the panel, like we did in the previous video. But now that I look at it, it's really reduced the impact of that balloon. It's not popping off the page like it was before. But here's another idea. Merge the balloon and the text into a group so you can select them together. Select the group, the transform tool. Now we can just scooch the balloon and the text up so it's off the bottom panel and leading us directly into the next panel, exactly as it should be. Now this balloon overlaps the next panel, which leads us into the proper panel like it should, but we're probably more likely to read this balloon first rather than the one over here on the left that we're supposed to read. And because this last panel has three distinct moments in it, we want to really make sure to get the reader over to the far left first. So once again, let's mask this balloon inside the panel border, like we did in episode 11. That's better. And let's zoom out, look at the page as a whole, and compare it with our first version. The differences are subtle, but these small changes really improve the story flow, which makes the reading experience a lot more enjoyable.